Ben and Rick have already stapled, taped, and squeegeed their way to an airtight ceiling, and now it's time to turn to the walls. First, they use a blower door and infrared camera to find any obvious air leaks before installing insulation into the wall cavities. Covering the walls with air and vapor retarder membrane is not the tricky part. Sealing the membrane to the house is the tricky part. The top is taped just like the ceiling. So we start by pulling tension across the top, stapling across the top, and then we staple down the studs till about 10 inches above the floor so we can fold our flap up and do our double-sided tape underneath it to make the connection to the floor. Oh. Get it right into the corner, kind of burnish it in with my fingers. This stuff is ruthlessly sticky, so you want to be slow. The acrylic adhesive is very sticky, but it still takes about 24 hours to fully adhere. So when he peels the backing strip, Ben does it at a very low angle to avoid pulling the tape off the subfloor. When the tape is down and unbound, they lower the membrane. Ben smooths the membrane down the face of the framing and beds it into the sticky adhesive. Then he tools the tape into place, allowing the adhesive to wet out or infiltrate the topography of the substrate. He does the same thing in the corner, tooling the membrane down the framing and sealing it to the subfloor. Finally, Rick comes up behind, stapling the membrane to the studs, the bottom plate, and the subfloor. 